This is our story. The story of John Holding in an empty ground on Anfield Road. Of a team who wore blue and white. Of fans who flocked through terrace streets to see their team of Max. Of how they changed their colours to red. The story of an embankment they would soon call the cop. Of cup final woe, back-to-back -back titles and a roof that kept out the rain. This is a story of Raysbeck, of Scott, of Hodgson, of Stubbins. Of the darkness of war from which the reds emerged into the light. Of a shining star in the form of Little. Of the wilderness years where mediocrity cast a shadow of a saviour whose aim was to conquer the bloody world. This is the story of Yates and Callie, of the Saint and Sir Roger, of musty boots and knowledge in abundance, of Mersey beat and fans in suits, of the finest anthem of them all. Of the greatest day when the longest wait was ended new adventures, of trips to far foreign lands, of checkered flags, big eared cups and fountains full of fans. This is the story of Crazy Horse, of Super Sub and the Anfield Iron, of men with perms who ruled the roost. This is domination, this is Anfield. This is the story of a quiet genius who reigns supreme, of Smoking Joe and the original treble. This is the story of the King, of Hanson, of Rush, of Barnes, of the greatest teams we've ever seen, of days of darkness. This is the story of an old friend rebuilt brick by brick. This is the story of local lads who rose through the ranks, of coaches from abroad who made us dream. This is the story of the old glories we rekindled on those nights when we never gave in. The story of overseas stars we took to our hearts, of fans all over the world, of dreams and songs to sing. This is the story of pride, of hope, of passion, of solidarity, of past, of present, of future. This is 125 years of history. This is Liverpool Football Club. This is our story.